I was an alpine rock climber, and when I soloed the big north faces of the Alps, the Eiger, Matterhorn, Grand Terrasse, and uh, mountains like Fitzroy and Aconcagua south face, I hated the ice sections. They were a uh, necessary evil. I never liked ice. But then the French and the Americans and the Austrians started to do amazing stuff on frozen waterfalls and mixed climbing, and around the turn of the century, I got hooked. I love ice climbing for a variety of reasons. Um, it's a bit like <laughs> Forrest Gump's box of chocolate because you never know what you're going to get. Is it going to be cold enough? Has it rained in fall so there is enough water to freeze? Which line is going to form? And uh, that's always very exciting come, come, come September, October, November, you know. And, yeah. You, you want to get going and, and it's, it's, it's different for rock climbing because the rocks are always there everywhere all year round. I also like very much the winter environment because obviously it's cold and I'm much better when it's cold as opposed to warm. Another good thing is uh, <laughs> the toes never hurt. In summer, you know, with the tight rock climbing shoes, there's always the pain in the toes. It's, uh, I hate it. In winter, that's, a, that's not the case, of course. I also like very much the tools, you know. I, I play with them. Sometimes in summer, I take my ice axes, I take the crampons, and sometimes I sharpen them in August, you know, when it's 30 degrees. When you rock climb, especially in, when you crag climb, you know all the holes if you've climbed for a long time, but when you ice climb, you have to make your own holes, and it always depends on the quality of the ice and the temperature, of course, and, and the humidity and a lot of things. I, I usually don't climb ice falls that, that have been climbed so that there already are the pockets. So it's always a virgin ascent in a way, even if uh, it has been climbed many times and even if I have climbed a certain route before. So it's, the, the, there's a lot of aspects to it. and the, after 20 years of ice climbing, I, I, I'm, I'm still intrigued and fascinated and, and always looking forward to it come, come fall and winter. And, and maybe that thing that it's a limited period of time that you can climb adds to the fascination and makes it even more special. <laughs>